Da 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 Bring it on down now. Yeah. Well, you're you're not a singing type this early in the morning, are you? No, no. <laughs> Tyler Farr, better in boots, kicks 105.5. A good morning to you. I'm Sean hey, Knight. Turn us up, man. What, hey, are, you, what are you? Oh, there we go. How, how's that? Give me a checky checky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, you. Okay, there you oh, go. Oh, my God. You must think I scream or something. Well, I remember the one time you're like, you're so loud, Sean. And I've been hearing that from my wife for 25 years. I was like, whatever. <laughs> it's good policies. Mike Bear from Barrett Insurance Agency. And uh, so what, what was going on over Easter weekend, man? I saw you... Um, I don't know, uh, kind of reaching over the rope there and trying to grab a couple of goodies from our uh, yeah. Easter egg hunt before the start. What was- it's, it's hilarious because you, I mean, first off, I never knew you, I mean, you you are loud. Uh, <laughs> you were screaming like over a Over 600 people. Yeah. I can yell over and, 600 people. And they, like, and they all, and I am sometimes hard of hearing and, and I heard you loud and clear. Yep. <laughs> and my wife did too. And here's the funny thing is that, you know, you're giving the explicit instructions of uh, the entrance to this, this roped in area for the candy is over there. So that's where you enter is over there. And my wife looked at me. She goes, "Uh, uh-uh, I ain't getting in line. That's not it. Well, she didn't say ain't, but I'm not getting in line. I'm just tossing him over right yep. here. I said, you do realize that you're going to get me in trouble. No, no, no. But uh, it was all good. By the way, uh, we decided that for uh, for next year and years to come, it's better to uh, open up the broadside and clip it that way. Uh, the problem was we had like literally three times more people than we have ever had in the past, and that's thanks to, of course, the support from Barrett Insurance Agency and other fine sponsors for our St. Johnsbury Easter egg hunt. So thank you very much for that. Our pleasure. And all we got out of it was a half a piece of candy because you... Because <laughs> I licked it <laughs> as I'm spreading them around. <laughs> the kids. No, it was great. And uh, my, my cousins came with their sons, too. It was nice to see them. Didn't expect to see them there. It was a great turnout. So it was I, a fun event. I The only thing that I'm sad about is that you and I didn't get a picture with the Easter Bunny together. I got one with the Easter Easter Bunny. Yeah, I was a little little verklempt about that. But I was I... going to put that up on the Facebook. I don't know if you could say Easter and verklempt in the same, um, just, I don't know, totally. I'm inter- I'm, it's, a, it's a mixing, melting pot, <laughs> is what I, I want to tell you. Uh, so, so, you know, this morning what I thought is, you know, I was checking that forecast. Tomorrow and uh, Friday? 60, 60, 60 something. Snow coming up next week. On- <laughs> right. So you know there's going to be motorcycles everywhere. Yeah, the, the, the motorcycles are getting dusted off, tuned up, ready to go, and they are going to be on the road uh, in these nice days. So that that got me thinking. We really should talk a little bit about motorcycles because we haven't for you know a few months now. Uh, so this is the time of year where, uh, if you have a motorcycle, you've probably, hopefully, I'd like to hear that you have kept insurance coverage on it uh, all year round and reduce or take coverage off. And and that also, um, since you touched on that, that's because maybe if you have it in the garage. Uh, the kids are playing, they go to get a ball or a bike or something, and the motorcycle tips over on them. Uh, they're covered in that sense, right? Well, that's a, yeah. I mean, that's that, that's a, a good example, I suppose. But, uh, you know, the liability, that's interesting, to be totally honest with you. I've never thought about the tipping over of the bike. My biggest concern, <laughs> I guess, isn't the kids, which is really bad. Uh, but it's, you know, if the bike, if the kids tip the bike over, now the bike is damaged. And now you've got a damaged motorcycle with no wow. coverage. You and I have very different perspectives. Yeah, yeah. I'm concerned about the kids. You're like, my Harley, my yeah. poor my, Harley. My baby. <laughs> well, no, your son's fine. No, the bike. <laughs> it's got a dent in the tank. My God. I just uh, waxed that. Uh, uh, no, but the, yeah, you want to make sure you have some level of coverage on there because, uh, you know, there are many perils that a bike is exposed to in the off season. You know, you've got uh, fire, you've got collapse, you have knocking it over. There's a million things. So you want to certainly keep coverage on there. Now, let's say you don't have a bike. You're going out and looking for a motorcycle. Let's talk about coverage for a minute there. So a motorcycle policy, if you get what we call a monoline, meaning this is only a motorcycle policy, it covers nothing else, which is the best way to go. Uh, really, the only way to go in many cases. But uh, you want to make sure you're looking closely at the coverages. Don't undercut the coverages. You want to go into it with the same mentality of an auto insurance policy. So don't go for state minimum liability. That's certainly not going to be to your advantage. Don't go for neglecting to add medical payments coverage on there because who knows? I mean, medical payments coverage covers you and and your your passenger well what they say when you own a motorcycle it's not if you'll get into an accident it's when right there's two types of riders those who have those who will Mm -hmm. yes and and my dad learned that well and and i speak from great experience in 2008 as did i and my father and my grandfather my dad was airlifted to dartmouth from lancaster in a motorcycle accident and was out of work for eight months 
So when I speak of motorcycle coverage, I speak from the heart on this route for sure. Um, not trying to uh, better your story, Sean. Maybe a little bit, but uh, mm-hmm. one upper, <laughs> one upper. But you know, the medical payments coverage on my dad's policy was able to be called and triggered for part of the cover- cost of that medevac flight to Dartmouth, um, which was about eight thousand mm-hmm. dollars. It was Maine Medical because it was Fourth of July, so Maine Medical had to come in with their hop, uh, chopper to fly him down because Dart was too, too already responding to the call. So there's so much many instances, so many things that can happen. Don't undercut. Now, if you go to a dealership, and I've not seen it so much around here, but certainly down south, you know, if you're buying a motorcycle on site on a Saturday or Sunday or any day of the week, their biggest interest is to close that deal. So there are some dealerships that I've seen over the years that actually will, will help you get your policy on site. What a great thing. They're salespeople. They know about motorcycles. They know about the benefits of this uh, size engine. They know about the benefits of this. They, know, they, they don't know they insurance. Don't know necessarily. Some of them may. Yeah. I, I don't want to speak, but in general, but you're they not do a not. Honda or Harley or a Kawasaki dealer. No, and that's so each person needs to make sure that they're doing their mm-hmm. thing to the I, best of their knowledge. Many ability. times I have looked at a policy somebody got on the spot at a dealership and said, "Whoa, what is this? That's scary." You know, uh, you want to make sure you're protecting your bodily injury probability and protecting you, what you could be doing for harm to others. And state minimum liabilities will not accomplish that. N- omitting medical payments will not properly cover you. There's many instances in a motorcycle where medical payments coverage will be triggered for when you need it most. And if you don't have it, you would feel the pain. Believe well, me. If you want to talk good policies, your policy, uh, what you got coming up in the summer, you think that maybe you're not uh, getting the best that you could be, make sure you call Mike at Barrett Insurance Agency down downtown St. Johnsbury. Yes, yeah, 748-5224. Visit our website, thebarrettagency.com, on Facebook, Barrett Insurance Agency, on Google+, uh, Plus, and on YouTube, Barrett Insurance Agency. Thank you, buddy, for stopping down. We'll see you next Wednesday. All right, have a great week.